everyone welcome or welcome back to the cup tarot my name is Rhea and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at what messages you need to receive from your ancestors and or past loved ones and please understand that when it comes to loved ones this could be a friend this could be a family member or it could also be a pet because previously I've experienced a lot of pet energy coming through. Yeah, so three piles is always in front of you. Take your pick, then we start with pile one. Hello, my beautiful pile ones. And when it comes to you right away, I want to come across with an assurance that your people who are no longer with us, this could be your ancestors, your past loved ones, your pets they are absolutely okay and they are in a beautiful place and they send nothing but blessings to you yeah so they're okay you don't have to worry and there are a couple of messages that they want to give you and the very first thing surprisingly is about your relationship now they are like look especially if you are in a relationship then you know you need to cultivate a beautiful relationship with yours because they want you to be happy with your partner somebody that you love and they're also talking about the fact that you know you've got to work at it and you've got to ensure that you have a partner who treats you right and you treat your partner right okay because they just feel like you deserve happiness and a great relationship so once again for my single friends they insist that you probably find the right partner for yourself and they also come to you that you know with almost like a lesson they are like you know we've had a beautiful life but our life also not always simple we had our ups we had our downs but in the end you know it all works out and it's all about living a full life so don't so much focus about oh you know these are bad times these are good times just enjoy the experience because sometimes you just got to sit back and enjoy the experience yeah now they also sort of here to tell you that they love you yeah and they also hinting towards your understanding about what is right for you so they almost backing you in a way telling you that you always know what is right for you so don't second guess yourself okay and they also guide you towards making certain decisions that are right for you so they also have taken up the uh, role of sort of your guide after they've passed away and they are also here to tell you that look you have so much good in your life you know appreciate it you as a person they are especially proud of because they see that goodness in you and they are so proud of you you know it's like you're everything that I would have expected you to be so for some of you I get this impression of this being a uh, like somebody who's way older you know somebody who passed away maybe in their 80s not for everybody but this is like a single message and being like wow i'm so proud of you you know you everything and more that i would have expected for you and they are also telling you accept yourself there are going to be times when you're going to be making mistakes in life and it's okay it's okay to make mistakes because you learn from those mistakes. But they're also telling you sometimes you're very harsh on yourself. Don't be harsh. You know, it's okay to make mistakes because they have done it too. And their mistakes taught them something about life. And maybe that is what they want to tell you. Don't always criticize yourself. Don't always judge yourself so harshly okay and they're telling you look love freely love just love freely yeah once again hinting at relationships for you uh, once again i'm going to get into very specific relationship messages or messages that they want to come up with and because of which i'm shuffling on camera i have a new understanding and when it comes to certain circumstances about their life, you know, they have a new understanding. So sometimes if you felt like, okay, you know, I wish when they were living, they would have, they would have understood me a little bit more or maybe dealt with situations in a different way. But they were like, look, when I was living, 
i did not sort of get that i did not understand the other part of the narrative and now when they are on the other side they have a new understanding of situations and for some of you i also sense a sorry yeah like a sorry is coming through but they're also telling you like there's no such thing as death okay there's no such thing as death and once again it's an assurance that they are close to you yeah they just are not there physically but but on another level they are always with you so they're telling you there's no such thing as death tears cleanse the soul so okay so if there's somebody out here who sort of uh, not comfortable with crying or you know they haven't shed any tears like if this person passed away maybe you did not cry then they also here to tell you look it's okay to cry okay for anything in your life if you're going through ups and downs if you feel like you know the burden is too much cry okay crying is good for the soul yeah it cleanses your soul so cry that's important although you may not understand it now everything happens for a reason so for some of you you know this could also be in like maybe when they passed away or the circumstances in which they passed away you like oh, why did this have to happen why did you have that why narrative so it's like you know look everything happens for a reason everything uh, happened for a reason with them and their life as well and they are like you know you may not understand it immediately but everything has reason like maybe it was their time to go and you know when somebody passes away it's always like you know wow why did things happen the way they did but everything has a reason and you don't have anything to feel guilty about so maybe for a couple of you it is a possibility that when they passed away it's like you were not around or you felt like oh i could have done something more then they are like you know there's no need for guilt they were supposed to pass away in a way that they did and don't feel guilty you did everything you could you spent the number of hours that you were supposed to be with them because beyond which i felt like you know they've given you everything that they have that's almost a message and you guys are soulmates okay you guys are soulmates so no matter who this person is who's on the other side they are like we are soulmates we've traveled lifetimes together you know our love is strong yeah and i really have to hint at this but this i don't know if you can hear this constant thing in the background that they are like you know that is how frequently they are around you yeah uh, so is there a particular sound that you associate with them or like a piece of music that you associate with them so if that comes on you're like okay you know that really reminds me of them or maybe it was a song that they used to sing to you but there's something about song okay you having your song uh, so maybe when it comes to soulmates especially you know a uh, music is always a factor but once again this could be very specific to a very specific individual but you guys are soulmates yeah and the earth is a school so they are also telling you like in your life you are learning lessons that are important for you to learn so especially if life is hard then you know sometimes it gets hard they are like there's a lesson and when life is easy that's a lesson too yeah because the earth is a school that's the story this individual is around you a lot i have to say i wish i have i had told you more often how much i love you so once again there's this regret that oh wow why did i not sort of tell you how much i love you and once again i'm going to take this opportunity to bring that to you their love because it's it's a strong kind of love and it's like life and after and let's see we rejoice when you find love love comes in unexpected ways okay uh, once again you know your past love ones they also here to tell you that you know we are always happy when you experience love and you know for you love comes in unexpected ways so once again when it comes to your romantic partner for some of you the message is also like you're going to meet this person and unexpectedly fall in love and for some of you this is like you know a pet energy coming through yeah so they want you to find that love and it will come to you in unexpected ways 
try not to worry we will bring helpful people into your life so they're also sort of working uh, behind the scenes for you to bring you helpful people so if you've ever been in circumstances and somebody has come to help you out then it's like you know it's them that's that's something that i really want to remind you so they're also your guides you know that's the message of really picking up uh, someone needs your support can you help them we will guide you so there's also somebody in your life okay who needs your help and i feel like this is a family member for you like maybe they feel lonely or they feel like you know oh wow you know this is my person and maybe they were close to somebody and they now feel like you need to be there for that person like they were there for that person so there's somebody who needs their support so you've got to reach out to them because that's in a way you know their wish and we support you as you cleanse and clear both inside out now this also this message of you know you needing some inner work you know you have probably not cried enough tears for them or maybe there's something going on in your life and you know they're like we are helping you sort of clear you inside and out and uh, seek professional help if you need to all will be well so if some of you you're really struggling with something then they're like you know sometimes we need help so a uh, professional help in some instances may be useful that's their message for you so this could be very specific okay hold us in your heart not in your home it's okay to declutter so if there's somebody who's still holding on to possessions from your past loved ones then they are here to tell you you know the memories that they share for you they are worth so much more than any physical item could be so uh, for some of you this is like a partner energy maybe somebody that you were in love with or somebody who were married to them yeah so it's like you know it's okay to let go of my stuff hold me in your heart you don't have to hold on to physical things from me yeah and they send you a lot of love because they understand how difficult it is and maybe with that you need some help so this makes sense uh, we will assist you in helping the important people in your life use love so they also working to get you something now once again this for very few is a departed soulmate like your partner somebody you were deeply in love with and they are to tell you it's okay to find love again and in fact they will help bring the right kind of issue individual into your life okay so they are going to really help you find your next partner and of course if you single and this is somebody very older like a grandfather grandmother or an older parent coming through then regardless they want you to have love in your life take control of the situation we know you can do it so if you have sort of let go of your life or you're like i don't know how to handle some things well now you can control the situation in a way that is right for you but for some of you if you need any help extra help professionally then that is also possible but you got this you've got this you can do this that's the energy let the animals on earth support you feel their unconditional love for some of you this is also a message that if you're healing or you're on a healing journey you need a pet to assist you because animals are full of energy so once again i get this pet energy telling you that it's okay to find a new pet you know i lived a beautiful life with you you loved me unconditionally but baby there's some pet that could really really be useful you know in this situation and it's okay to sort of adopt a new pet go for a new pet you know that's the energy so i'm really getting multiple energies here as i read this changes can bring you new life and new energy we will hold your hand so once again the message is change you need change because the change will usher in a new era for you it will give you a life that you deserve the new energy that you deserve but they also remind you you are not in this alone they will help you and because you know they are holding your hand that's that's a really really strong message for you but overall this is your reading pile one and i just want to send you a lot of love once again a reminder that they love you very much but they are in a good place
I'll see you in the next couple of piles if you're joining me. If not, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, and if you've selected pile two, let's see what messages your past loved ones have for you. And once again, you know, your past loved ones, let me just tell you this, they are okay. And they are in a beautiful place. Okay, so once again, this is like an assurance for them. And they're also here to tell you, have you forgotten to smile? Because they enjoy it when you're happy. They enjoy it when you can uh, be laughing about something over the simplest things. Because there's a possibility they themselves had a very joyful kind of a personality. And you were sort of an extension of them. Or maybe together when they were alive, you guys had a lot of fun. So that is what they want you to have where you are. Be careful. They love to see you happy. They love to see you smiling, but maybe you are not doing that right now. Enough. Okay. And they are telling you, look, follow your heart in whatever you do, you know, because in the end, this person or this group of people, they love you so much, but they just want you to be happy. And they're like, you are at your happiest when you're following your heart. So just do that. You know, they're also very loving individuals. I can just feel that love surrounding me as well. And they're here to tell you that, baby girl, I'm really getting this reference, okay? I let my light shine. When they were alive, maybe they were very uh, amazing kind of an individual, very happy-go-lucky maybe, or they were just people who would just make your life better. And they're here to tell you, you have that part of me. So shine, be happy. That's the message, you know, be happy. Yeah. And you have so much talent and they're acknowledging that talent and telling you, let that light shine. Make the world a good place. You know, follow your heart. Now, they're also here to tell you, first of all, they're telling you, you're very beautiful. Okay. And you're incredibly talented. And they are always so proud of you when they see you exhibiting that talents. Yeah. So they're also telling you that, you know, I enjoy watching you. I enjoy all of your talents. And they're so proud of you. Yeah. But they're also here to tell you that, you know, you are a very, very powerful magnet. And they are also helping you behind the scenes. But they're also telling you, you need to make certain changes in your life. Okay. So once again, first is laugh. And the second is change is necessary. Yeah. So I feel like this is something you may know more about because I don't know. That's what I'm getting here because there's like in a way this understanding that this person will know what I'm talking about because they know what they need to do to change. Yeah. Let's see. We will be together again. So it's almost like they're telling you like, look, don't be sad. We will be together again. Once again, lot of love coming through. We'll be together. We'll do fun things again. That's the message. And the thing is, they are able to see all of your thoughts. So when you feel down, they see it. When you're happy, they see it. Because they like witness your thoughts. Okay, so they can catch that even on the other side. Yeah. And I had to leave that way. So whichever way they left, they are telling you that was my way to leave. Yeah, nothing could have fixed that. I was okay. I am okay. But that is the way I had to leave. So don't feel bad about it. Yeah. And it was my time to go. Yeah, it was their time to go. And I feel like they had a good life. Yeah, because I don't see any regrets here. They're like... It was my time to go. But we will be together again. Oh, wow. I'm standing right next to you. So wherever you are, we are standing right next to you. Sending you a lot of love. lot of love. And it's not your fault. So if somebody is like, you know, uh, maybe feeling guilty about something, then it's like, it's not your fault. Don't you blame yourself. It was not your fault. It was their time to go. They had to leave that way. Yeah. And if I had only known then what I know now, I would have lived differently. So they do have certain regrets about very specific instances. 
not about the whole story happy kind of an individual but they're like oh you know with this i wish i had known this and i would have lived differently and they here telling you i will always point you in the right direction i will always point you in the right direction lot of love coming through let's see what else we are proud of you and aware of your achievements once again you know the thoughts they are able to sort of gaze and they telling you we are so proud of you of everything you've achieved of the beautiful person that you are and they are like you know we always knew you could do this and they are also here to tell you that continue to grow okay and keep seeking new knowledge and they are always applauding your efforts whatever you achieve it's good enough for them okay nothing more nothing less whatever you manage to achieve it's enough for them yeah they just want you to learn they don't want you to pass an examination with amazing flying colors or be the top boss in your organization or to be like this massive best person no they love you yeah no matter what so they also tell you just keep learning keep growing and for every effort you make they applaud it trust love and appreciate yourself show respect for you yeah trust yourself trust your process trust and love yourself appreciate yourself but most importantly respect yourself yeah focus on the positives you know how there are many so they're telling you you have so many gifts you're so you know amazing there is so much that you've achieved so focus on the good focus on the positive and you have so many yeah focus your mind on what you really want we are helping they can read your thoughts and it's almost like you know what do you want focus on it we will help you we will help you achieve it and you are a star step into the spotlight where you belong don't shy away don't downplay your achievements you're a star you were always there star okay and i feel like this person is like it's your biggest champion and your intuition is strong we are reaching out to help so i feel like somewhere you know you're intuitively aware of this person helping you out or maybe sometimes you know you you get the strong intuitive feelings and it's right they reaching out that time they reaching out to you have you laughed today oh my god this person just wants to see you laugh can you just really smile like for once so they they see it because they're standing right next to you as you listen to this so please laugh for them yeah that's my request to you and they're telling you laugh find joy and lift your soul they don't want to see you burdened they want to see you doing positive focusing on positive and living a good life take time to pamper yourself let others take care of you so they are like we understand that you feel like you've got to take care of everything you've got to take care of everyone but give yourself time to pamper yourself and let somebody else take care of you Yeah, you're probably the kind of people taking care of everybody, but they are like, who's taking care of you? Yeah, love yourself, appreciate yourself, respect yourself, and take care of yourself. Yeah, you work too much. That's also a message. We are helping to bring a little luck your way. You deserve it. So they're also working behind the scenes to get you the good luck that you deserve. And I feel like I need to go back to the previous file because there's some message wanting to come through. Yeah, I feel happy and healthy. They are happy and healthy. So if they passed away when they were not healthy, then they're happy and healthy now. And I'm so much better. Over the rainbow, I feel like you need to check out pile one because you know I feel like you have messages from both piles and last one. There is no time where I am. Time is only on earth. yeah and i feel like i need one more what is it with you guys this person is like okay i need something more and remember me by the happy memories i can see why yeah 
remember me with the happy memories we created love please for their sake okay i really want to give this one message to you that please love every single day and when you remember them remember them with the happy memories that you had created oh my god i'm sorry but i'm getting really emotional with this reading because okay that's the message i'll leave you with that i'll see you next time bye hello if you selected pal 3 let's take a look at the messages from your ancestors past loved ones let's see first of all your past loved ones are here to tell you that you know we send you signs they're telling you have you noticed us so if somebody like what is something in nature it could be butterflies it could be birds it could be something in nature it's like yes it's us we send you signs through nature yeah and your past loved ones are very grateful to you they're grateful for all the love that you gave them during their life and they're like you know wherever i am i'm very grateful in my life i lived a good life and i felt like you know i lived in a way that made me happy and they're very grateful but for your love especially i feel like they are very grateful and they also here to tell you that you are very talented and you have so much potential and they want to see you grow because they also here to tell you that you have so many talents so explore that potential somewhere they feel like you know you could do so much but you're not doing that because you underestimate yourself okay so you have so much potential and they're very happy about it but they also here to tell you like look whatever happened in the past in a way that day passed it's okay let it go don't hold on to it yeah so especially if there's somebody who passed away in a way that maybe uh, it did not give you closure or in a way that was slightly odd then it's like let it go yeah so leave it and they also hinting at home so they're like you know your home is our home wherever you are we are yeah so once again they also here to tell you that your home make it beautiful yeah because that's your space so i feel like they also want you to make some renovations for some of you this could actually be a family home that maybe is neglected but there's this clear association for some of you they want you to have it not everybody okay something to do with the ancestral home as well or when it comes to your house especially if you've moved to a new house or you are living in a house but they talking about certain changes to make it into a place that is livable and wonderful and something you'll be happy with they are also here to tell you that they cherish you okay and i feel like somewhere they were also a very confident person but maybe you did not think that way or maybe there is some confusion there but they are also like you know you are precious and they cherish you and they also cherish you for who you are not what you can become they know that you have so much potential but even if you don't manage to reach there they telling you they will still cherish you they will still love you and you're always going to be precious to them yeah because there's somebody who had a lot of like self respect for themselves and they're very okay with who they were as a person yeah and never forget you are loved love never dies and they're telling you you know their love for you is something that cannot end just because they passed away yeah and they're telling you don't you ever forget how much you are loved how much i loved you when i was around because love never dies yeah so they send you love from the other realm you are ready for change in scenery no wonder the house message so for some of you i feel like you need change yeah maybe a change of residence for a couple of you or a change in scenery or when it comes to your house you're not happy change okay that's the message but you need that change yeah bring in parts of you in your home that's what they are telling you find a way to bring harmony back into your life take the first step so some way i feel like you know 
मे बी दे फील लाइक यू नो देर इज सो मच मोर ब्यूटी दैट यू कैन गेट इन योर लाइफ बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट यू टू लिव अ ब्यूटिफुल लाइफ दे जस्ट वॉन्ट यू टू लिव अ ब्यूटिफुल लाइफ दे वॉन्ट यू टू बी हैप्पी मे बी फॉर सम यू नो यू कैरिंग टू मेनी बर्डन नाउ इफ दिस message don't speak to you then maybe you are one of pile one or pile two because this is like you know this person wants to help you even after their death they feel like you need change of scenery and they are like look whatever place you call home bring in parts of you and make it beautiful so that you will have more harmony into your life okay and Don't rush into making big decisions right now. Take your time. So they are also telling you, uh, if there is a particular decision that you want to take, there is no hurry there. Take your time. Okay. There is no such thing as this needs to be done right now. This is who I need to be right now. Take your time. And uh, we have fun, and you too must enjoy yourself. So they are also telling you that they are okay. and in fact they more than okay on the other side because they having a lot of fun so maybe they are with people who are like you know very very good on the other side or it's almost like you know we are good we are having fun here and you know you should to let us hug you close your eyes and we hold you close so if there is somebody wanting a hug from their past loved ones then this is me giving you like a big hug big massive bear hug so please close your eyes and just feel my hug or maybe visualize this person giving you a hug and holding you really close really close i feel like you guys need it and stand up for what you know is right we are supporting you so they also here to tell you you know when it comes to your life you've got to do what is right for you and you will always have support from us yeah and you're never alone this person never leaves you alone they're like we will never leave you alone when you feel alone we will hold you just like that yeah and they just a thought away that is all if you ever feel like you know you need them once again for couple of you this is a pet energy who's always hanging around you always yeah and they're just a thought away and they're also helping you okay if this is a person this is a person if this is a pet this is a pet but they're here to tell you i am always helping you from even where i am yeah they're also helping you in your life i have no more earthly worries so especially uh, if when this person was around they had a lot of worries or maybe you know they were sort of uncomfortable with a couple of things then now they are like you know we are not worried about what happens on earth so once again even if this is an ancestral home you know they are like not worried about it uh, if you want it you can have it if you want to change, make changes to it you can make changes to it it doesn't have to be right now but it's like you know we are not very concerned with that and they are telling you my mind is free yeah they are free from every worries because you know they don't have any earthly worry so especially if this person uh, had some pressing issues when they were around they are like my mind is free now yeah life is a series of choices choose love so they are also here to tell you in life you will have to make choices there are always lot of choices life is like that but every time choose love when you are making decisions make it on love choose love and oh my god oh my god this is what we start off with i send you loving signs through nature so once again an affirmation if you have certain you know like butterflies shows up or if something shows up you're like i feel like this is this person the answer is yes so they send you sign through nature i have become one of your guides this person is also your guide now which is why they are just a thought away they helping you you know you're never alone and choose love they'll help you my death was painless don't worry or hold on to guilt so if you feel like uh, when this person passed away you wondered if they were in a lot of pain or you know 
that their death was difficult it's like i didn't feel it it was painless okay one moment they were there the next moment they were in. they did not feel pain it was painless so don't worry don't hold on to guilt yeah and believe in yourself you can do it so they are also here to tell you the most important thing for you as you continue on the journey of life is for you to believe in yourself they are with you you are not alone when you need a hug they'll give it to you they are your guides they are with you yeah they are also asking for forgiveness for something yeah this could be like they passed away you were not ready for it or they passed away in a way which is now causing you to hold on to guilt or if you just not made peace with their passing which happens then they are here to tell you i'm sorry you know please forgive me if you felt like you know uh, you could have had more from this person when they were around they are like i'm really sorry i'm surrounded by loving animals so if they had a pet when they were you know alive or maybe you guys had family pets uh, then they're telling you you know i'm surrounded by loving animals so they're not alone a could be a bird as well if they had a bird or they were really attached to one but they also learning over here okay so some of you they uh, you know your past loved ones they also sort of learning something on the other side and they are not dead they are one of your guides yeah so they are like you know i'm not dead in your heart i'm still alive how could i die and they also here to tell you don't be so afraid so are you sort of you know going through some episodes that you really really fear something they have to tell you don't be afraid why are you afraid i am with the rest of the family so if somebody is worried about the well being of a past loved one they are constantly here to tell you like don't be afraid i am with the rest of the family i am okay yeah i am okay and we are so connected and still they remain connected to you once again the reason why they have become your guide and now we have no pain once again they stressing on the fact that they had no pain and last one i watch over you every single day yeah and one more i feel like it i always give you a good night kiss and i'm going to wrap it up okay wow i have one more i'm so sorry uh, it is beautiful where i am yeah the, this is the end of the reading it is beautiful where i am that's their message for you I wrap this video up right here. I'll see you next time. Bye.